YouTube guys, this is Take Andrews there doing another action figure review now. It's a little bit of a different scenery for me at the moment because of the size of this box. And what I'm trying to review is this Chap May rescue helicopter. Now I'm gonna see if I can do a measurement on the height of the box. So height of the box is about 14 and a half centimeters. Uh, I'm trying to see if, you, uh, if the lighting will work on this. Unfortunately, it may be a little blurry, so please forgive me. But uh, it's about 14 and a half centimeters is the height of the box. And then the length of the box is, oh, sorry, not centimeters, inches, is 31 inches from one side to the other. So it's quite a long box. And then it's about, you get the old measuring tape in again, it's about seven inches in depth. So this fairly substantial size box. Now, as I said, I'm trying to get uh, lighting on this, but it's not my usual setup. So if there's a bit of glare or a bit of uh, too much lighting, please apologize, uh, please accept my apologies. So basically what this is, is a really large repaint in rescue helicopter scheme of the Chapman assault helicopter or the kind of the Sentinel-1 assault helicopter. So if I just push it in to view there, it's so big takes up quite a bit of room so if I just put my measuring tape across it so I can get a idea of how long it is so roughly from the tail actually if I go even further back from the blade oh if I go from the front blade if I have it all the way out to the back Bear with me a moment, I'm going to see if I can get this. So if I have the front blade stretched out over the front of the helicopter, all the way to the back blade, it's about 38 inches in length. And the blade widths themselves are about 15 inches. So it's about 38, 39 um, inches in length and about 15 inches for each rotor blade so it does have quite a, a wide stance the body itself isn't too wide it's just the blades make up most of the width so I go from kind of pontoon bits from pontoon bits it's only about 12 roughly about 12 centimeters or 12 inches for some reason I keep going centimeters but all in all it's a fairly big, big helicopter. So let me see if I can push the box back. If I just move the box around, you can just see the artwork on the back. There is a fire engine, which I didn't see, with, and a rescue ship. So the fire engine looks kind of cool. And there's a rescue boat, which is another repaint of one of the military boats. Then there's like a helicopter and a hovercraft type thing, which I didn't see. And then you got the uh, rescue helicopter itself. So, now, unfortunately, I can't take the rotor blades off. It would make this a hell of a lot easier to review. But, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't give me any... Um, once they're clicked into place, they seem to be fairly permanently in there. So, I'll go through the accessories first, and then I'll go through the helicopter. Now, one of the accessories you get, well, it's not really a accessory. It is, yeah, sticker sheet. To apply decals to the opposite side I haven't applied the stickers to it because I'm debating whether or not I'm going to repaint this into more military kind of colors or to go with my G.I. Joe's or Cobras so I haven't actually repainted or decided yet what I'm going to do and so just to give you a height from the main fuse main body of the helicopter as well if I can get a measuring tape in so from height of from the base of the wheels to the 
and the top of the rotor blade is about 11 inches. I'm not sure if you can see that on screen, but it's about 11 inches. And the accessories it comes with is this Jeep, this rescue pack, this um, kind of stretcher that can hook onto the winch, which is pretty cool. You get two what I'm assuming are supposed to be kind of US Coast Guard style characters. You get a one of those kind of preservers, the roundy kind of um, life boys that you know they throw out from ships and stuff like that. And one of the other accessories that you get, which I haven't even bothered taking off the sprue. Is this it's a tree of kind of accessories like a bolt cutters a fire axe shovel uh, some sort of gas tank a cell phone or a portable GPS a chainsaw and they're all hollow on the back but what's hilarious about them is they are ginormous here is the size of, an extent of the guys that you get with the set you can see they're fairly, uh, they're about three and a quarter inch scale. The axe is massive, so is the bolt cutters and the torch. They're way oversized, they're more in scale with um, the Star Wars Black Series six inch figures or the Marvel Legends six inch figures. So, one of the other accessories you get with these guys is this thing, which I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, and then you get the two guys, as I said. What's hilarious about them, well, what I find is quite hilarious about them. Now, this guy seems to be missing a, something that goes up here on his chest that this pipe connects, or this um, cable connects into. He came like that. But, um, I guess what's hilarious about these guys is when you're out rescuing, I suppose you need your uh, pistols to be shooting what you're rescuing. A rescuing, I, I would imagine. Now, you also get a torch for this guy, and as I said, the opposite guy has a pistol and holster as well. So they have a bit of weird accessories for rescue people, but I guess even rescue people need to uh, arm themselves. So the Jeep itself is quite nice as well. Uh, we just you do get this rescue bag as I said, but it doesn't open it's just a, a static piece So you get this rescue Jeep. It's smaller than the kind of standard Chapney Jeeps But it is very similar in design and the idea behind it is the reason it's small is that there's a ramp at the back of this helicopter We just move my camera a bit So please bear with me So you can see the ramp that folds down from this and you can actually drive the uh, car up onto it and there's little clips just inside that you can clip these onto. There is an opening side panel on the side of the helicopter which has like more rescue gear. These seem to be more in scale. You can see there's an actual fire axe and bolt cutters in here and they seem to be far better scaled. If I flip around the other side of the helicopter, there is no opening panel on this side you got an open section here where you can see like a computer display and now on the military version of this helicopter I think there's stuff underneath here and there's like either a cannon that connects into that side so if I just rotate it around again without knocking everything over at the front here you have a searchlight on the military version of this, it's a dual, uh, I think it's like a dual Gatling gun that comes out. So I'll show you, show you that. So this piece folds down and this whole area just folds out and you can actually have a guy stand up here and man this um, searchlight, which is kind of cool. You can just slide it back in again. And then, as I said, you have this operating winch, so just position the camera so you can see it. 
So to pull down the thing, the, the, the hook, you push this little lever that's just on top behind the wheel and it wheels all the way out as far as there so you don't get too much slack with it and you can then use this wheel to wind everything up and when you wind it up you can see it will wind up with the um, with this uh, bed or stretcher or if you want to you don't have to use the stretcher you can actually use this uh, life preserver thing so you can actually have a figure in that and have them being dragged out of the water with that which is kind of cool there is a cockpit in the helicopter so it'll probably be easier if I just bring this around it is very tight to open up but it can open up there is supposedly control panels just here and here um, it's all just done in the same yellow plastic and then this canopy piece is actually just a grey plastic so, or kind of a dark metallic um, gunmetal grey so there's not much on that and then it is also electronic so there's only two sounds so this is the first one it's sort of a siren and speaking and then the helicopter sound so there's two lights, you've got the blue lights here on either side and if I just press that, there's actually a red LED as well in underneath so you can see it kind of light up if I turn the camera off or sorry the light off a bit easy to see and you can see there's kind of like a cage, cage separating the um, opposite side from where the searchlight is which is kind of cool switch the light back on there so the accessories themselves are very cool the helicopter is quite nice as well um, I do kind of prefer the military looking version of this um, as I said this is the only version we seem to have over here the fire truck does kind of add, has piqued my interest I hope we might be able to get to see it over here as well but um, it is quite good to use these in with other lines so if you have characters Joe characters like Doc he does work quite well with the set uh, if I just tilt down there is Doc with my uh, with one of the BBI uh, what are they called are they true heroes no not true heroes they're the BBI um, elite force soldiers so um, Overall, these guys, the kind of guys that came with the helicopter, I probably won't use at all. They're only five points of articulation. So you got swivels on just the legs and the arms at the hip and shoulders, and then the swivel on the head. So they're both exactly the same. The gear that they come with might be usable. I might be able to either pull some of it off and reuse it on customs, make, them, uh, make a couple of crew for this thing. But uh, yeah, as, as I said, they don't or they don't particularly interest me I generally don't like the Chapmay figures anyway I always find they seem to be either way out of proportions with their hands and stuff they have kind of bulky hands so just for a comparison I have this custom figure that I put together I'll just pop them into the cockpit so you can actually see them seated in the cockpit so you can see he does sit quite nicely in there now, unfortunately, it is very warm here today, so I'm sweltering all over the place. So I might be sweating as well while I'm dripping sweat while I'm doing this. So if you see anything drop in front of the liquidy drop in front of these cameras, it's just sweat. Ugh. So just for more size comparisons, I just moved the helicopter off to the side here. Bear with me a moment. Now, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I'm trying to keep it in a certain time frame. Uh, I have the Rainfire Core Elite helicopter here, which you'll be able to see side by side to this thing. So there's quite a big helicopter. And if I can just get one of the other True Heroes Chapmate scale stuff in. Here is the 
two heroes sentinel one style um submarine excuse me that i've reviewed before so in it's about the same length as it from the bodies the two the, the body of them um, each one is about the same length but the width overall is quite wide on the helicopter because of the blades so overall it's a really cool helicopter set um i hope this video review is okay and it's not been too jer jerky around the place and that um you enjoyed it as i said i'm trying to uh, do the review in a different spot than i normally do because of the size of this thing it just takes up so much space i didn't think i'd get it onto my normal review station and get the box shown as well but there is the box for it as you can see the images on the back and they seem to be doing kind of a rescue um theme stuff so you got fire uh police and you got rescue now whether or not we see any other sets from the moon over here i don't know the chap may stuff generally seems to be kind of hit and miss they usually do soldier force which is their their version of um the sentinel one so that's what we have over here but all in all it's a nice set I do recommend picking it up if you find one um oh the other thing it did have uh you can see them there there's actually a missile launcher at the front of the helicopter i'm not sure if you'd see it here just underneath there it had three blue whistles which i subsequently lost uh so unfortunately you can't show those off uh i put them in it and as i was moving it around they just fired off into the ether and i just have no idea where they went so there is three blue missiles don't understand why there's missiles on the rescue helicopter but i'm assuming there's supposed to be some sort of water um kind of cannon type thing so there you go anyway enough of me rambling i hope you enjoyed this video as i say in my videos please feel free to like comment and subscribe to my uh, channel um i might try and redo this video again at some point with better lighting and a better setup so you can see things a little bit more clearly if it's not too clear so as i say i hope you enjoyed this video cheers guys